aussi. So you don't have to say cheese now. Right when you're watching this talk, because it ruins it if it's. Uh... Huh? No, I'm not taking it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, go ahead. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Um, this is another one of our talks in a series that we've had here at St. Mark's for the past couple of months, and we hope with God's help to continue through December celebrating the International Year of the Family as our Holy Father has asked us to do. And so tonight, you know, you are, you are very fortunate here. Usually when Father Hardin appears, it's to the roar of the multitudes, but you're lucky because you have a... Have a, uh, we have a smaller group here tonight, so many of you will be able to ask Father Hardin a few questions when he's done speaking. As I said before, Father Hardin will be speaking on the, the Holy Father's letter to families, and copies of that letter are available on a table in the back here if you'd like to get one before Father begins. We're very fortunate to have Father with us, and Father holds a master's degree in philosophy from Loyola University and a doctorate in theology from the Gregorian University in Rome. He has taught at the Jesuit School of Theology at Loyola in Chicago, and he is a professor in the Institute for Advanced Studies in Catholic Doctrine at the time that his Modern Catholic Dictionary was published. He's also been a professor at the Institute for Advanced Studies in Catholic Doctrine at St. John's University in New York. He's the, he is the author of many books, the latest of which is um, a new book about uh, a more popularized um, uh, retreat um, based on St. Ignatius Loyola's uh, spiritual exercises for families, for people in the home. And um, that book and many other good things are ava available from, from Intermorifica. And Mrs. O'Connell is here this evening from Intermorifica, and she can give you more information about that afterwards. I'd like to begin with a prayer before I call on Father Hardin. So would everyone please stand and let's recite together the family prayer for the year of the family. And you should have received a card, something like this. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Lord God, from you every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. Father, you are love and life. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, born of woman, and through the Holy Spirit, fountain of divine charity, grant that every family on earth may become for each successive generation a true shrine of life and love. Grant that your grace may guide the thoughts and actions of husbands and wives for the good of their families and of all the families in the world. Grant that the young may find in the family solid support for their human dignity and for their growth in truth and love. Grant that love, strengthened by the grace of the sacrament of marriage, may prove mightier than all the weaknesses and trials through which your families sometimes pass. Through the intercession of the Holy Family of Nazareth, Grant that the Church may fruitfully carry out her worldwide mission in the family, through the family, and for the family. We ask this of you, who are life, truth, and love, with the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please help me to welcome Father Hart. First of all, I want to thank you for coming. I was hoping somebody would show up. <laughs> Thanks for being here. As you've just heard, my presentation this evening is to explain something of the Holy Father's letter to families, published at the beginning of the year of the family on the feast of the presentation, February the 2nd, 1994. The letter, by actual count, is over 25,000 words. 
in length. Necessarily, you're going to have to choose and pick. My plan then is to choose out of many other aspects that might have been picked, 10 areas for surfacing and brief commentary. In each case, I will first identify the aspect and then make some explanation based on the Holy Father's words and then my own explanation. I should add, this is now my 26th year in working for the Holy See. And nothing pleases me more than to speak in commentary of what the Vicar of Christ teaches. This, as a member of the Society of Jesus, is my fourth love of obedience to the Vicar of Christ. And obedience especially in explaining to others for the Bishop of Rome is teaching the world. First subject, crisis in the family. <coughs> there is a major crisis in the family in the modern world. And the Holy Father used the word crisis throughout the letter. Crisis in Greek, from which our English word is derived, means an occasion or a cause for a major decision. Some major decision should be made. And indeed, the whole letter is a recommendation of what kind of decisions should be made. 